Well, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Missy. And as you can see, today we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna make one of our favorite treats. And y'all, when I tell you this is simple and easy and delicious, I mean it. I seriously mean it. And today we're gonna be making some cherry fried pies. The easy way. The easiest way ever. Y'all may call them hand pies. We call them fried pies. Mmm. Y'all, these are going to be so good. Let's get to making these pies, y'all. All right, in our pot here, we're going to put some of this canola oil. And we need enough to where our pie is going to be able to float in, okay? So about half a pot full. That should be a plenty. All right, so over here, I'm going to get me a piece of parchment paper. That should be plenty. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need. Pie filling, your choice of flavor, okay? Today I'm using cherry and a can of biscuits. I'm not even playing, that's it. We will, I will have to go out and get a little bit of flour to kind of dust my parchment paper with, but y'all, that's it. That's all the ingredients. Two, so let me go grab my flour, let's get this parchment paper dusted, let's get these fried pies made. Y'all, it is freaking freezing outside today. Last night it got down, I think, in the high teens, very low twenties around here. And this morning, or all day, it is about 2.30 in the afternoon. So all day long, the sun's been out. It's been beautiful looking. But as soon as you step out that door, whoo, Lord have mercy, it is cold. I do not recommend. All right, I want to make sure I got my eye on. So, here we go. And I have put my eye a little, almost high, not quite high. Let's get these biscuits open. Oop. We're just going to take them out one at a time. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour right here. Press that out. Y'all, take in one of my jelly jars and we're going to roll. Okay. It'll leave a cute little pattern. It'll be fine. Flip that over. We're just going to roll. We've had a busy day today, getting some Christmas stuff done. All right, I'm going to turn this eye off for just a second because I don't want it to get too hot. Uh, we've been getting Christmas stuff done today, and, y'all, you know, I have realized, I hate to say this, trust me, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to go back out. I've got to pick up some little boxes at Dollar Tree for my kids' gifts that I am making them. All right, there we go. Anyway, as I was saying before I was so interrupted, is, yeah, I'm going to have to go back out. Yay. So there is our dough, okay? That's about the consistency and the size. So now I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm going to put some of our pie filling in here. And again, you can use any pie filling you want. If you want to make homemade or if you want to put your homemade in here, please feel free. All right, now we are just going to fold this over. Like that right there. I'm going to dip my fork in some water. 
and we are just going to pinch this off. Close it up. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's check on our oil. It's almost ready. So let me bring you guys over here so you can get a close-up look as to what I'm doing, okay? Let me move the camera. All right, I'm going to pull a little more flour back over here. I'm going to grab my cup, my jar, I should say, and we're just going to roll. My oil is about ready to put this first one in. We're going to flip this. I'm checking my oil over here. We're going to go ahead and put this first one in the oil. You want to do it gently. Oh, so gently. Well, if nothing else, it's making some cute patterns. Too bad it'll be on the inside. But, you know, it's making some cute patterns. Y'all, I will have me a rolling pin soon. And I ripped that one. So let's see if we can repair that. If not, that's okay. That is fine. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Set that off to the side. All right. Grab some. We're going to do it this way. Since I busted that one, we will do it this way. And it's it doesn't take a whole lot of pie filling. Okay? It doesn't take a whole lot of dial. We'll add just a wee bit more. There we go. And then we're going to fold it over just like that and I'm going to have a little bit of run over on that that's okay then we're just going to take our fork go along close it down nope May have added a little bit too much pie filling if there is such a thing as that. I've never heard of that. Have you? All right. There we go. Y'all, mine are not going to be perfect. They are rustic. They are rustic. And there's that one. Ready to go in. I know I've got a little hole there. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Let's get another one. Get it over here. I'm just going to roll it out. Try not to get this one as thin as that other one. Not to break this one. There we go. And honestly, you can do these as thin or as thick as you want them. This is just the way we like them. Y'all, they're going to go in that grease. They're going to puff up. You could fry these in the air fryer if you want to. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. I'm trying. There we go. I don't know if you could bake these or not. I'm sure you could. I mean, you can bake the biscuits, you know. So I'm sure you can bake these. Air fryer, baked, fried, however you want them. And I'm going to have to grab a paper towel or a piece of one because 
I have made a mess over here. <laughs> it doesn't take long for these to fry up either. Not long at all. I think the last ones I made were apple. I used some apple pie filling. Oh, they were so good. I added some powdered sugar and cinnamon over top of them. That was the picture that I posted in a community tab to see if y'all would be interested in seeing a video of these. And they were so good. So good. So there's that one. I need to grab my spider so that I am ready to flip that over. Let me go grab my spider to see if it's done, if it's ready to be flipped. Almost look how brown that is getting. <gasps> oh, careful, you don't want to burn yourself. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Look at it puffing up. You see that? That's what we want to see. That's it right there. That's the ticket. Now, I'm going to put these out on a paper towel when they first come out. And then after I get them all made, then I'm going to make a glaze to put over top of some. And the others I'm going to top with powdered sugar. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at that bubble up. I'm going to turn the oil down just a little bit. Oh, listen to that. All right, that one is done. So we're just going to put this one out on a plate with a paper towel. Drain that good. There we go. We're going to put number two on our spider and drop it in. Y'all, you can cook more than one of these at one time, but I'm not. I'm doing it in a small little pan, and this is how I'm preferring to do it. So, and it only takes, once you get the heat, once you get the oil heated up, it only takes a couple of minutes per side, and that's it. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So good. All right, one more. One more. Now I'm going to stand here with this one. Watch it very closely. Because again, it only takes just, just a second. Super easy dessert, super easy snack. Uh, my grandmother and my nanny and I used to make these quite often, and it was always a favorite of mine. We used to make donuts out of this biscuit dough. We used to do a lot of stuff like this.
I've got about a half a cup of powdered sugar here. And I'm just going to eyeball this. I've got some heavy whipping cream. And we're just going to make a quick little glaze. Do I want to put vanilla in this? No. I want to put some almond extract in this. Almond and cherry. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Let me go grab my almond extract. All right, I've got my almond extract. We are going to add not a lot. Oh, Lord, that smells good. Woo! Not a lot. Just a hint. Doesn't take a whole lot. But it's going to change the whole flavor profile. All right, so we're going to start off with just a little bit. Of the heavy cream it is already looking and smelling mm, I can smell that almond need to add just a little bit more whoop a little heavy-handed there that's my fault I get excited all my fault Now, if you want to make enough of this to dip your fried pies in, that would be really good. I'm just going to drizzle this over. I'm trying to get this to the consistency that I want it at. And I may have to make some more. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We shall see. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more heavy cream. I think that may be, maybe, where I want it to be. I think that's good. All right, let's get our fried pies over here. Let's move this stuff out the way. Bring our fried pies over. Alright. There we go. And we're drizzling. And we're drizzling. And we're drizzling. And we're drizzling. <laughs> I didn't get enough on there. There we go. Mm. Yeah, yes, that was more than enough glaze that we made. We are going to have plenty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I can smell that almond extract. If you've never had um, almond and cherry together, it's heavenly. It is just absolutely heavenly. And I'm trying to get some of this glaze everywhere. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are going to be so good. So good. Now, like I said, you can sprinkle these with powdered sugar. I almost said powdered cheese for some reason. I don't even know why. You can sprinkle these with powdered sugar, call them done. You can make a quick little glaze like I've done. You can do both. And honestly, I am not so sure that I am not going to do both of those. Make it look like it snowed. Just a little bit. Oh, these are going to be so good. So good. Tried to get Aiden to come in here and help me. He wanted no part of it. He is out for Christmas break. So homeschool is taking a break right now. And uh, he is taking advantage of that 100%. <laughs> uh. He is having a blast. All right. There we go. There we go. Now, do I want to add powdered sugar? I don't know. Let's see. 
No, I don't think so. We'll just add what's left in here. There's not a lot. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, y'all. Taste test time. There are our fried pies, cherry turnovers, hand pies, whatever you want to call them, with the almond glaze on them. It's time for taste test time. And I, I just feel so honored to be able to taste test. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. Mmm. 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 The almond with the cherry. Mmm. Perfect choice. Perfect. Y'all. Easy. Quick. Simple. Mmm. Y'all will not be disappointed with these. Mm. <laughs> Paps will be a happy man when he gets home tonight. Mm. So, set that down for a minute before I finish it off right in front of you. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you all for supporting our little channel. Y'all, we would not be where we are without you guys. And I am truly blessed and thankful for each and every one of you that watches my videos. And I want to say to each and every one of you, from us to you, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Whatever it may be that you are celebrating. We love you guys. And we can't wait to see what the new year brings. Hopefully blessings galore for everybody. So much love to each and every one of y'all. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Aiden and I would be tickled pink to have you guys as part of our YouTube family. We'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.